hello everyone in this lesson we will study about wen's bridge this bridge also used for measurement of unknown inductance so here it is the bridge this is the unknown branch r1 and l1 that we need to find out then in branch 2 we have one variable register and variable capacitor in branch 3 it is a simple resistive branch and branch 4 is a purely capacitive branch so this is the bridge circuit here this is the detector is connected between point b and d and here it is the source so now first of all we need to find out the values of z1 z2 z3 and z4 so let's write down that one so the value of z1 must be it is a rl circuit so it should be r1 plus j omega l1 then branch 2 it is a series rc circuit so z2 is equal to r2 plus 1 by j omega c2 then branch 3 it is a simple resistive circuit or resistive branch so z3 is equal to r3 and the branch 4 it is a simple capacitive branch or pure capacitive branch so z4 is equal to 1 by j omega c4 so we have to find out the values of the unknown parameters that is r1 and l1 so how we will find out that so first of all we have to write down the balance condition equation so the equation for balance of a bridge is z1 z4 must be is equal to z2 into z3 so now i am putting all the values of z1 z4 z2 and z3 in this equation and now i am solving this further solving this and finally if i will equate the real parts if i will equate the real parts means here it is in lhs we are we have r1 in rhs this parameter so it must be r1 is equal to r3 c4 by c2 equating the real parts i got this value so r1 is the unknown resistance that we need to find out so this is the value of r1 so we found out the value of r1 is equal to r3 c4 by c2 again equating the imaginary parts we can get the value of l1 here it is j omega l1 and it is j omega r2 r3 c4 so now i am writing this so the value of l1 must be is equal to r2 r3 into c4 so now we got the unknown parameters l1 and r1 of this bridge then the most important thing is how to draw the phase diagram of this bridge so in my previous videos i have told you how we will draw the phase diagram of a bridge means first of all we have to find out the relation of all the voltages with the currents that means what we have to write down all the equations first voltage equations so voltage equation means first of all write down e1 so e1 is equal to how much it should be e1 is equal to respective current is i1 so i1 into r1 plus i1 j omega l1 this is the value of e1 then if we'll go for e2 it is a rc branch so it should be the current is i2 so it should be i2 into r2 plus i2 into 1 by j omega c2 this is the value of e2 then the value of e3 it is simply resistive branch so it should be the respective current is i1 into the resistance that is r3 e3 is equal to i1 into r3 then if we we'll go for the value of e4 it is a simply capacitive branch so the respective current is i2 into 1 by j omega c4 i2 into 1 by j omega c4 this is the value of e4 again at balance condition e1 is equal to e2 and e3 is equal to e4 and the total circuit voltage e must be the phasor sum of either e1 and e3 or e2 and e4 
e2 and e4 so this much of data we have to draw the phasor diagram so all of you know that when we will draw a phasor diagram we have to take one quantity as the reference so here suppose i am taking i1 as the reference i1 as the reference so if i1 as the reference the resistive voltage drop i1 into r1 it must be in phase with the respective current and the inductive voltage drop inductive voltage drop i1 j omega l1 should be leading 90 degree to the respective current i1 and now we got the value of e1 means it is the phasor sum of i1 r1 and i1 j omega l1 this is the value of e1 this phasor is e1 phasor again at balance condition we know that e1 is equal to e2 that's why this same phasor is equal to e2 then e3 is equal to i1 into r3 e3 is equal to i1 into r3 so that means what the phasor relation of e3 with i1 this is in the same phase it is a resistive branch so if i have drawn i1 here i can draw e3 here in phase with i1 this phasor is equal to e3 and at balance condition e3 is equal to e4 the same phasor is equal to e4 again e4 is equal to i2 into 1 by j omega c4 e4 is equal to i2 into 1 by j omega c4 so that means e4 is a purely capacitive branch so the respective current will lead by an angle 90 degree to the voltage so obviously if this phasor is e4 then i can tell that or i can draw i2 here it should be 90 degree leading to e4 it is e4 and it is i2 it should be 90 degree leading again the value of e2 is equal to i2 r2 plus i2 into 1 by j omega c2 so the i2 r2 phasor must be in phase with the respective current i2 so i can tell if it is i2 in this same phase i can write down this same phasor is equal to i2 into r2 and i2 into 1 by j omega c2 it is a capacitive voltage so if it is a capacitive voltage it will lag the respective current by an angle 90 degree so if this is i2 i2 is the current here so if this is i2 i2 into j omega c2 will lag by an angle 90 degree so here it is means this phasor is also is equal to i2 into 1 by j omega c2 and we know that e1 is equal to e2 so here we, we can prove that here that i1 r1 plus i1 j omega l1 is equal to e1 again this i2 r2 this is i2 r2 and this is also i2 into 1 by j omega c2 the phasor sum of i2 r2 and i2 into 1 by j omega c2 is equal to e2 then now we got e1 e2 and we got e3 e4 now i can find out the total circuit voltage e here by drawing the parallel lines like this this is the phasor sum of e1 e3 or e2 e4 so now we got the total circuit voltage e this is the phasor diagram of wains bridge thank you If you like this lesson give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button also remember to subscribe this channel by clicking the subscribe button to get my latest lesson right here on youtube happy learning i will see you in another lesson